Welcome back to Tile tonight. Maria and Becca are here from the Sugar Pine Foundation here in Lake Tile to tell us all about sugar pines. Welcome to the show. Thank you. I, these are beautiful, by the way. They brought some show and tell stuff for us. This is actually the sugar pine pine cone. Yeah, this is the sugar pine pine cone. They grow up to 24 inches. They're the biggest pine cones in the world, the longest, the longest. And how did you start this foundation and, and why the importance of this foundation in this, in this region? Uh, we well, didn't start it personally, but the Sugar Pine Foundation started um, because uh, people identified that sugar pines were dying off and they wanted to save them. Mm -hmm. um, and the Forest Service had a program to try to do that, but it's hard to get funding and federal funding is mostly focused on fires these days mm -hmm. and other projects fall by the wayside. So that's why the founder of our foundation, John Pickett, he decided to uh, start a nonprofit to save the sugar pines and other white pines, western white pines, white bark pines. And these are all indigenous to the Tahoe region? They all grow in Tahoe, mm -hmm. yeah. These are the highest elevation mid-elevation on the ski resort, mm -hmm. like uh, top of tram, mm -hmm. and lower by the California Base Lodge. And so to, how, tell me how you saved the sugar pine tree. Well, so the sugar pines used to make up 25% of the trees in the basin, and now they make up less than five. Mm -hmm. And it's partly due to a blister rust infestation. So we go and we identify those 5% of the trees that are resistant to the blister rust, and we collect cones from those trees, and mm -hmm. then we plant seedlings from those. Um, and this is what you have here. And I think the process, that you were, they were telling me before they went on camera, if we can get a, can you get a tight shot on that? And there's the little, there's a little seed right there. So you actually climb the trees and get the seeds and plant them and... Yeah, we climb the tree and get the cones mm -hmm. while they're still green and closed. Right. And then those get dried in racks and the seeds fall out and we send them to a nursery. And a n nursery grows these seedlings, we get them back and we plant them in restoration projects with the help of our volunteers and some crews, field crews. How long has the Sugar Pine Foundation been at this? We started in 2005. Okay. So, so we are actually celebrating years. our 10 year anniversary this year. That's terrific. And in that time, we planted 70,000 seedlings. So wow. That's pretty so, do you go back to the areas where you planted to see how the trees are doing? Yeah, I have a couple of areas that I take my daughter to because uh, she was born when we started this. Mm -hmm. And I always make a, take a photo of her versus the tree, who is bigger. And I know at some point the tree will win, but it's not there yet. Uh, <laughs> so, is it a slow growth? In the first 10 years, it's mostly growing the roots to tap into groundwater. Mm -hmm. um, but after 10 years, it's taller than you. <laughs> That's good work, guys. Mm -hmm. Seriously, this is, this is phenomenal. And I guess my question also is, why do you have to climb the trees to get the seeds? Are they not in the, in, in the pine cones when they're... Well... What happens to the seeds? We have certain trees that we have identified and we want to make sure that we're getting cones from that exact tree mm -hmm. because it's resistant to blister rust. So that's one reason. But another reason is the cones, they hang at the end of the branches, mm -hmm. they're closed. Mm -hmm. With the first storm in the fall, the cones flare, they open. And the little seeds with the wind, they fly out and I've like little those. helicopters. Mm -hmm. yeah. that's just so terrific. by the time it drops on the ground, all the seeds are gone. Where can we get more information? Almost um, at our, our website, mm -hmm. sugarpinefoundation.org. And people can donate money and volunteer time and all that good stuff. Yeah, we have a lot of upcoming well, plantings. And well, you we'll can get that on check the, the calendar. That's right. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time here.